To be sure you never miss a Tech Ninja video, tap on the bell icon right next to subscribe. YouTube, what's going on? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and today we're gonna talk about the top productivity applications. I'm using Android, and a lot of these applications are on iOS as well. These are applications that I use every single day and applications that if you start using, you'll become more productive on the mobile side. Before we begin this video, I'm gonna give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Privacy. They did approach me about making a video in regards to their software, and I did give it a shot for a little bit because I don't wanna just talk about any type of software out there, and I did find it very valuable, and I think you would too, so check it out. Now, Privacy is more of a service, but it has an application that ties into it. So first of all, let me show you how it works. Privacy lets you set up a bank account to a digital credit card number. With that card number, you can make online purchases, but what's even better is that it lets you create burner cards, so you can use that card one time. You can also set that card to only work at that place. So for example, you can set a card up to only work at netflix.com or one that only works at Amazon. So if that card, even if it's not a burner card, is used elsewhere, it won't go through. And another great example of something that I'm using it for actually is if you sign up for a 30 day trial, you can make the card only work for that trial duration. So when they attempt to recharge it again, if you forget to cancel, it no longer works. It ties into your browser. So like in Chrome, if you tap on this little red icon here, it puts that card number in there for you. You can even set a spending limit on the card. So if you're doing Christmas shopping, you may wanna set a budget to 100 bucks. And if you attempt to go over, the card no longer works. Or even on mobile, you can make purchases using these card numbers. And it just makes buying stuff online easier, safer, and also you don't get charged for something that you really wanna cancel. So the second application is Vitrim. Now Vitrim offers a plethora of ways to manipulate your videos from simple trimming to merging other clips completely to transcoding. Vitrim pretty much has everything for any type of simple video clipping or video um, adding or anything like that. It's very simple, no frills app, it is free. Um, it does have the occasional ads here and there and it does have the static ads at the very top. But beyond that, Vitrim is pretty much the best way to go for trimming videos in a very minimalistic way. Number three is ES Disk Analyst. Um, if you've been using Android for a very long time, then you may have noticed one thing, that the cache builds up and it starts to eat your phone storage. That can be pretty annoying. So if you wanna keep your phone for two years or longer, this is something that you have to use. Now this is how you get back the wasted space. ES Disk Analyst is simple and it's an elegant app and allows you to clean redundant files, large files, and cache files too. It also gives you a few other stats. Right now it's pretty uh, bare bones because it's a newer app, but it definitely has its uses and also there has been several updates so far. And for that reason, it's actually one of my top Android apps that I use now. Um, people call me all the time and tell me their phone is getting slow and sluggish and I install it and kind of run in the background and clean up some of these apps and clean up some cache and things start to run better. So um, Disk Analyst is, is one of the apps that you need to have installed. Number four is Parcel Track. Now this next app is for people who frequently order things online or send or receive shipments regularly, like myself. Parcel Tracks is a hub to manage all of your tracking numbers for incoming and outgoing packages. The free version gives basic notifications, including when a package is delivered, and the paid version gives you more notification, removes the ads, and gives you access to cloud syncing and their online website. The paid version is worth it in my opinion as a person who's on the computer and also on multiple phones. And you can check the status of all of your packages at any time at any device. It's super useful and I cannot recommend it enough. Number five is Podcast Go. If you watch my channel, you know I've uh, uh, used this app before. and I've talked about it, you always see it on my phone. Well, it's one of the best free podcast apps on the Play Store. With a simple and clean design, it offers a perfect balance of functionality and eye candy too. Not much more to say about it, but if you want an elegant way to get to your podcast, check out Podcast Go, highly recommend it. Number six is Weather Timeline. Now many of us have settled on a weather app of choice, but most weather apps share the same problem. They're cluttered and it's hard to find a balance between simplicity and information, but Weather Timeline bridges that gap. 
The minimal interface is really easy to process, but it gives you all the useful information you need. And my favorite feature is the ability to change your source depending on what you're comfortable with. So, and the widgets are a very nice touch, so you can really customize this weather app and make it as minimal or make it as non-minimal as you want. And it's something that I actually keep on my phone. Number seven is for the thinkers out there. This is Paraline Aligning Thoughts. Have you ever had a pressing thought that you just needed to get out? Whether it's spilling your emotions or writing down the newest idea, in my case, for my next video, or logging thoughts that can be useful or worthwhile in the long run. Paraline makes it easy to type out your thoughts whenever they occur. Any notes apps can manage this, but Paraline brings it a step further. By introducing AI, Paraline gives you comments related to your thoughts, and it also may connect with other users who have similar thoughts. It's definitely an interesting concept and something that I kind of played around a little bit to see how it works and I got some really interesting results. So it's something I wanted to bring to your attention and you may find something cool out of it. Number eight is Mobile Witness. Safety is crucial in the world we live in and Mobile Witness is an app that works to keep you and your surrounding area safe. You find yourself in a sticky situation, open Mobile Witness and start recording an audio to log everything that's happening. Mobile Witness can also take video location information and you may ask like why is this useful when you can record on your camera app? Well Mobile Witness allows you to instantly upload recordings to a server in real time. This way if your phone somehow gets stolen or compromised, your precious evidence is safe. Now my favorite part is that you are in control of your files. So if you're an average user, it's easy to hook it up to Google Drive, Dropbox, or Box. But if you're a tech geek, you'll be pleased to know that you can upload it directly to your own virtual private server. This could be the difference in an outcome of a court case or more. There's more benefits with Mobile Witness and it's something that everyone should have installed, especially those in college campuses or if you live in a, a dodgy neighborhood. Number nine is Slick Deals. I love Slick Deals and this is the best way to score a deal. Slick Deal is a user run website that I've been using for about 10 years now where people can submit genuine deals that they find and then you'll be notified. You can set keyword items for what you're looking for and instantly get a message when the deal goes up. Um, users can also vote up and down deals so you won't waste your time on a listing that really isn't much of a deal. Now, as I said, I've been using it for over 10 years now, but the app is finally, finally nice. And if you wanna get something on a deal, use Slick Deal, set notifications and you're good to go. Number 10 is Nova Launcher. If you haven't heard of it, you must have been sleeping under a rock, but Nova Launcher is the best and most versatile launcher for your Android phone. It has a perfect balance of customization and also that stock feeling. And it's just a really, really great launcher. And they also updated it to um, mimic Android O, which is really, really nice. You can also back up your preferences. So if you do get a new phone or reset your current phone, you can then get all your app pages and widgets back right in the exact same order you had before. Nice. Number 11 is Rocket Locker. Now this app solves a simple problem that Android has, volume control. In Android, it's common for the volume rockers to adjust your ringer unless you're actually playing audio and then you have to go in there and tap an extra button. And it, and it can get really irritating since sometimes you go into a game and it's super loud, but you have your ringer off. It's just confusing. So Rocket Locker reverses the way stock Android handles audio. It always defaults to media volume. And since I've had this, this little hack, it's been really nice and I can't go back to the other way. It just makes things a lot easier. Number 12 is Cam Scanner. Having a paperless office or room used to be difficult. You'd have to go into your printer and scan it and do all this stuff. Cam Scanner is an app that lets you take a picture of a document, then it crops it and enhances the photo to look exactly like it was scanned in on something printed. It also can be stored in the cloud with additional storage sold for an extra fee. Not only it keeps your papers digital, it also gives you a free backup of your stuff. Um, I've been using this for a while, you know, you like, you get receipts and things like that. I just like to take a picture of it and scan it in, then I can search for it and have it all in one spot, which is nice. And rounding off the list with number 13, this is Todoist. This one has to do with productivity. Again, Todoist is a to-do list app that syncs between devices, allows you to schedule tasks down to the minute. It lets you see all your tasks for the day and it has a fun karma feature. The more productive you are, the more points you get. I will mention that uh, Todoist Premium includes features that most people want, but it is pretty steep at almost $30 a year. So definitely decide if you want to use this before diving in all the way, because once you start to use it, you get really hooked. It has this gamification thing that goes on in the background and it starts to feel like a game when you complete tasks. So uh, be mindful of that. 
Let me know what yours are. Leave it down below in the comments. Tell me what apps you use and I will check them out. As always guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have yourself a great day. Hit subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.